Jesus came as a baby through the Virgin Mary. He grew up as a carpenter, but yeah, the king. Even at the age of 12, he spoke like the mighty man of valor that he is. At the age of 30, he started his ministry after his return from the wilderness from the 40 days and night of fast. He was stamped at door, but yet he overcame. After his return, he healed the sick, raised the dead, and did many other miracles. We know them all. He started the journey of redemption by gathering his apostles. Journey into the cross was a difficult one though, but yet he overcame. And all he ever wanted was for the will of God to be done. He bore our griefs. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for iniquities. He suffered and paid the price we couldn't pay. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And he said by his stripes we are healed. He gave us victory over sin and the privilege of sonship. After he was buried, three days later the tomb was empty. He then appeared to his elect at the upper room and gave them a command. Go he therefore into the outermost ends of the earth and spread this good news. The apostles did a greater portion of the spreading 2000 years ago. Now these are the last days. The return of the Son of Man is already on the move. We have to repent and change our ways. Or heaven is gonna be a ghost town. These are the signs of the end time. And we see them every day. Landslides, earthquakes, bloodsheds, gunshots, brothers killing brothers, sisters killing sisters, floods like in the days of Noah, the creation and publicity of satanic organization. Now we hear of the corona and the hunter virus. All these are the signs of the end time. The bells are ringing. The cloud is changing. The devil is on a rampage. The trumpet will sound any moment from now. The question I want to ask is, are you prepared for the return of the Son of Man? Revelation 16:15 gives a clearer picture of how the return of the Son of Man will look like. Jesus is going to come like a thief in the night. Don't say I'm gonna repent and change my ways tomorrow cause it might be too late for you. What are those things that you do that don't please God? Drop it off. Drop all the fornication, immorality, adultery, smoking, drinking, singing of worldly songs that don't give glory to God. Drop it off, I tell you. Heaven and hell is real. Oh, return of the Savior. It's coming back It's coming back